what up welcome back to the channel it's your guys something 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 hit the keys back at it with another review uh, make sure you guys smash that like button that subscribe button and that notification bell so every time i bring you new content you can be the first to see uh well guys and kai dropped a bomb on us uh they dropped a brand new uh free daw called npc beats um it has the workflow of an npc mixed with the modern day daw um but i only had it for a couple hours so let's go ahead and check it out and uh, see what it's all about all right when you load it up it's going to be a screen like this um and it's going to ask you um what template you want to start with so they have a whole bunch of different templates and a bunch of different uh sound packs that you can start off with i think there's like 15 to 20 sound packs with 15 to 20 sounds each uh, we're just going to go with empty um and then we're going to go find which uh template that we want to use um so i'm going to go ahead and use this hip-hop template i'm going to load that up um, and it already has sounds for you so you'll see it has a bunch of sounds for you right over here you can take this menu down or that screen down by pushing that menu button um, but all these sounds are in that kit so that's awesome you get a lot of quality high quality sounds for free with the free daw um, i'll go over a couple of these uh, menus um, real quick um, this is your home screen um, this right here is your track view so as you're tracking it out it'll show you uh, more traditional style of beat making uh, that we're used to if we use DAWs. Uh, this right here is your program editor, so you can edit all kinds of different uh, tones, semitones, your polyphono uh, sound, all that other stuff down here. Um, you can also adjust each note and you can adjust the sound to each pad that you have set up, which is awesome. Um, you have some more uh, level control, so how loud your, your each pad is, so you can make pads um, louder than the other pad, it's pretty dope. Um, and then over here is your different sample layers. Um, this right here is basically, you guys all know what that is. It's your waveform or whatever instrument or whatever tool you're using. Um, this right here is your mixer, but this mixer right here is different than your regular mixer. This mixer is, it mixes each pad. So that's dope um, as far as when you're, like let's say you're putting down some chords on the keyboard. Each chord has its own pad. So you can put an effect on each note in the actual chord and make every note in the chord different, sound different with different effects. And I think that is, that's super dope. I don't think you can, I mean, that's something that would take a lot more time and effort than any other program. The only negative with the mixer is, here's the regular mixer. You only get four insert slots um, to put plugins in. So that, you know, whatever. But then again, you can still always go back to your, your pad, um, your pad mixer and add four more effects so you can get in essence eight effects um but i guess you can put them on master and you can run relays too so you can you can do something um there's a whole bunch of different effects that you that they come with standard so you see all these reverbs and delays they're just different analog and um air delays and so on and so forth all these different dynamic tools um a bunch of different eqs low filters harmonics, um, distortions, lo-fi sounds, modulation, phaser. I mean, you get a lot of different plugins that come um, with the with the package, I guess, for free. And then it's got vintage effects, so you can make it sound vintage like the old school NPCs too. Um, so that's pretty dope also. Um, right here is your sample view. So um, you'll drop your samples in, into here. And then you can cut them up and I'll show you that here just a little bit later. Um, this is what the wave's gonna look like for the sample. Um, and then this right here is your track mute. Um, you come over here, this is how you record. Um, if you, when you're recording, you'll notice the NPC is a little different. Um, so you're gonna have to record and you can record multiple tracks, do multiple things all on the same track. But if you want to go back into that same track and record, all you got to do is push overdub. If you don't push overdub, it's going to record over everything that you're recording. Um, so again, we'll go over that a little later. Um, over here, you can assign it to your keyboard or your pad or whatever you want to play it in. Um, auto scroll and your automation. Um, I didn't mention this, but what's cool about this DAW is that it will actually play in another daw so you can use this as a plugin in, in fl studio or pro tools or 
Ableton or whatever whatever program that you use, Logic, you can use this as a, a plugin in your plugin. Um, so down here, um, it, there's another menu bar, um, and so this again is just more things that you can more functionality with your pads. That's your help menu. Um, here's your samples. Um, so these are all just the samples from the kit that I'm currently using. Um, here's how your project notes. So you can name your beat and everything like that. And so it has a you know a name. Um, this button right here is going to take you to your expansion packs. This will take you to your expansion facts faster. Um, and then this last thing right here is dope because you can load up your own samples. So you can go to your desktop and whatever sound packs that you have or whatever kits that you have, you can go to your kits and um, you can load those sounds into here too. And then if you just go over to them and you push the, the right click button, it'll let you sample it, but you gotta push it on the actual thing. So now we're going to um, get into just a little bit of the sampling some of the the software all right so since i have sounds already loaded up from this um sound kit that they gave us i'm going to come over here do you see your bars this is very important you want to make it as long as you want to make your loop so i'm just going to make this loop um four if it lets me just because i want to only do a little sample all right, so you can click on it and you can push four and it'll give you four. Um, so here's some of the sounds that are gonna be in here. So those are all luscious sounds, those all sound wonderful. Um, and then if you push bank B, it'll take you down to the, the rest of the pads. So now I'm going to um, push. Now I'm going to record this. So you can watch the pads that you can't see the, me play the pads. Um, you're going to push record. You're going to push this green button. You see, just like that, I got a little four bar loop, so that's pretty dope. Um, you know, I could have added some bass, I could have added some more things, but I'm just trying to make this quick and condensed uh, for you guys' time, um, so that's pretty dope. Um, I'm gonna show you guys something else. Um, so we're gonna go to a new project. Um, all right, like, like, let's say we just come to keyboard. And then this is gonna already have the keyboard loaded up for us. Um, so it'll allow you to do like, um, you know, basically your, your keyboard roll, which is pretty dope. So we'll go to 95. 
um, and you can just realistically, you, if you wanted to, you could just paint in, come over here to your paintbrush or your pencil, and you can just paint notes in just like you would on FL Studio or any other program, um, which is cool because you couldn't do this in a DAW before, or you couldn't do this in an NPC before, you know? And so the same thing applies with this. You can... So we'll just record something real quick. Um, all right, and so then um, it has some instruments here for you, so. come to a different view uh, so I'm just gonna come down to synth and I'm just gonna lay down some chords underneath that just two I don't know why but just I guess just two um, all right and then you can like um, come down here to your your drums I want to see it on the pad view so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to basically show you guys real quick how to load your own samples or I guess one of the ways that you can load your own samples So just come right on over here to desktop. I'm gonna go to my drum kit, kicks. I'll just grab Godly. Um, push to up arrow, grab a clap. I'm just gonna grab the first clap. We're going to grab some hi hats. All right, so now that I got all those loaded up in here, we're just going to do the same thing we did before push record, push play. All right, so the last things that I want to show you is, you notice we're in Fruity Loops now, or FL Studio. Um, if you come over here to add, you can actually use this DAW and another DAW. So boom, just like that. It's going to load up. It's also vectoral, so you can detach it and then move it wherever you want. And it's vectoral so that you can you can make it as big or as small as you want to. Um, and then you can even load up the projects that you had working on as, as a standalone DAW in FL Studio. Um, and then the last thing that I want to show you guys how to do is um, basically chop up samples. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to... bring up our samples so we're going to go find a sample uh, and I'm talking about chopping up your own samples so go to wherever you have your samples at grab your sample
double click on it and then it, it's going to bring up your sample on this um, and so then from there you're going to come over here to chop um, and then you're going to play all and then you can just push on one of the pads or you can push your own pad um, on your um, whatever board that you have and it'll chop up the sample for you. All right, so after you've chopped it up, you're gonna want to convert it to a new program. Um, so push do it. Uh, and then you're going to, to your home page, and then you're gonna hit this old Chinese jargon sample, and then boom, all your samples are here. So now you have all your samples and you can just hit your pads. And that's, you know what I'm saying, how you basically can chop up your samples. I'm um, sorry that the lighting got all jacked up during this uh, quick review. Um, it got dark, so doing a blue light at the end. But I do appreciate you guys' time today. Make sure that if you like this content that you subscribe, you hit that notification bell, and you give this video the thumbs up um, so I can keep bringing you guys quality content. Y'all have a good one. Peace. All right, guys and gals, thanks for watching the video. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe and like button. Uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so every time a new video comes out, you can be the first to know. Uh, let me know what tutorials you want to see next in the comments, and see you next time. Some, some, some. Hit the key.